タが好きになったか<笑>いいラボメン精神だあうんうん違うよお昼ご飯を買ってこようかと思ってだめだ She really is a glutton. It's not even lunchtime yet. <laughs> Mayori places her finger on her bottom lip in thought as she walks. This tiny high school girl truly has guts to enter. <laughs> Sanbo alone. That place isn't like the chain restaurants with their colorful menus and brightly lit interiors. First timers are often cowed by the old school atmosphere. Plus, the clientele is almost exclusively male, but Mayori doesn't care. She just sits there shoulder to shoulder with students and salarymen, smiling as she eats her beef bowl. Meanwhile, the Sanbists, the regular Sanbo customers, Are posting comments online like the goddess has arrived or goddess for the win. Oh my. Okay, yeah, his name is Rintaro. So it is already backwards. Okay. I tried to warn her, but Mayori is no longer there. She's gone. Mayori disappears like this every so often. And each time she does, I wonder for one terrible second if she really has vanished from the world. I look around and see Mayori standing at a distance. She's gazing up at the sky through the buildings. Here we go again. She's stopped in the middle of the street so other pedestrians look at her, wondering what she's doing. But she doesn't notice their stairs. She slowly reaches out to the sky, as if entranced. And then she freezes in that position. This is one of Mayori's habits. I call it Stardust Handshake. Mayuri says that she's liked looking at the night sky ever since she was little. Her reason is romantic, or perhaps childish. When I asked her about it one day, or asked her about it one day, she just smiled and gave that answer. At first, she only reached out to the night sky. But lately, she's been doing it without regard to the time of day. Like now, even when she's walking and talking with someone, something inside her just seems to switch on. Honestly, it's a little crazy. I walk up to Mayori and call out to her. She slowly lowers her hand with a blank smile on her face. Oh. How are ramen and stars even related? Mayori's mind works in mysterious ways. Well, yes, it does. Oh, I was actually about to say in the previous shot that every single person that's not a major character has a blank face. But it seems I'm corrected with this because they all have faces. Well, for the most part, you can only make out their eyes. So I know I said I'd search for the IBM 5100, but I have no idea where to start. I spent about an hour on the, in an internet cafe searching for information, but turned up nothing. I buy some mango juice with tapioca from a juice stand inside Yodabashi. I lose myself in thought as I drink it. It's Saturday, so it's starting to get crowded in front of the station. Some maids are dis distributing leaflets to the people coming out. I know Daru is well acquainted with retro PCs, but is there anyone else? Oh yeah, Shining Finger was obsessed with the IBM 5100, wasn't she? I'm really reluctant to contact that male demon, though. But ultimately, my feelings are trivial. Ragnarok hangs in the balance. But I decide not to bother. I finish my drink and wander towards uh, Chiro Dori. Then comes an email, almost as if on cue, from Shining Finger. Still alive? Oh, will you get back to me already? Moaka. It's like she can read my mind. I instinctively scan the area, searching for that gloomy woman in the crowd. No sign of her tailing me. 
Oh well, I guess I'll send her a reply. I don't know Shining Finger's phone number, so I'll just send her an email for the time being. Call me? Oh. In the email, I ask her to call and include my phone number. Now I just have to wait for her response. And there it is. Holy fuck, she's fast. She finally contacted me. Oh. I don't like talking on the phone, so let's exchange emails instead. Please? Moaka. Wait, she wants it by email? There's a lot to cover. I'd rather not have to type it all out. I need to find out her phone number. Give me your phone number along with any information you have on the IBM 5100. And send. And now we'll get another email. I'll look up after finishing my email and see a huge crowd of people in front of Radican. I guess the satellite is still a big deal. The media presence hasn't died down since the day of the crash, either. It's only been four days, though. Radican is still closed. And, of course, the satellite is still there. Not 30 seconds pass before I get a reply. Holy balls! Oh, ooh. Right as I'm about to look down and read the email, I catch sight of a familiar face in the crowd. Oh. It's you. Can I not- I can't check my mail! What the fuck? She looks like she'll snap at me, so to dampen her spirit, I go back to checking my email. Oh, there we go. Re re re, call me. I don't have anything, how about you? Moaka. What is wrong with this woman? I told her to tell me her phone number and she just ignored me. And she doesn't even have any have any information. How useless can you be? This this time she isn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Call me. Tell me. Oh, tell me the super hacker's address. Moika. Holy shit. I want to snap my phone in half and throw it on the ground. What do you mean, tell me the super hacker's address? You're making fun of me with that <laughs> music note? You're not getting anything from me. Anyway, why does she need to send me two short consecutive emails? I mean, she might as well just combine them into one. I would complain about that, but it seems I, I am uh, also rather guilty of doing that. It, although, for me, it's not the fact I break up my sentence, it's more the fact I just have lots of little things to send, <laughs> instead of just compiling it into one big message. I can't quite describe it in one word. Stop, stop sending me all these short emails, I'm begging you, just gather your thoughts, and set everything together. Wow. I feel a little satisfied after sending that email. I turn to Kurisu again. Wow. Oh wow. Exactly. You have a duty. Well, she is only a temporary member. No, it's because she's a temporary member that we need to get as much out of her as we can. Kurisu sighs and looks up at the satellite. We're not alone. Several other people are standing here and looking up. It's Akiba's latest tourist attraction. And that's to say nothing about the huge hole it punched in the building. 
Are satellites really uh, that durable? Oh. Hmm. Three days have passed and it's still unknown. How interesting. I smell a conspiracy. Oh my god. Ah, my drink. <笑>世界をかけかんだ奴隷国家を超越した秘密機関である政治、警察、宗教全てを掌握しているのだ<笑> どう見ても陰謀論です本当にありっ Thank you very much. Ah, oh, Honto ni. Ah, oh, okay. So, this phrase is commonly used on the internet as a way of punctuating a statement. It originates from a story posted on At Channel, in which a man tries to pass his bodily fluids off as a popular soft drink. <laughs> Ew. Wait, so it was obviously. Oh. It looks like that's been bled out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kurosu hangs her head and blushes for some reason. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Crazy girl. It's phone wave. Name subject to change. Oh, my God. Another email, it's Shiny Finger. Fuck me. Sorry. <laughs> Was I being annoying? I'm sorry, but I really need information on the IBM 5100, and you're the only lead I have right now. I'm relying on you, Okabe Kun. I swear I won't sell at send any more short mails, so please don't abandon me. I need you to help me look for the for an IBN 5100. I promise to let you know as soon as I learn anything, so let's work together, okay? Moka. Looks like she's rethinking things. Hopefully I don't have to worry about any more email assaults. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's send a reply. So, apology accepted. I'm looking for an IBM 5100 too. I agree that we should exchange information. I'll let you know when I have something. You don't need to reply to this email. Or to this mail. Oops, I pressed L L2 for some reason. What am I doing? I type that out and send it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. いい心がけだ。岡部さんって頭おかしいでしょ。俺は岡部ではない。あんたと話すのって疲れる。それで電話レンジ確保借りの話だったな。お前はあの実験の後タイムマシンなど嘘だなどと悲痛な叫びを上
んおいこら勝手に私にトラウマ設定をつけるなそうあれはまだ5歳の頃クリスティーナはアーカンソー州の草原で雷に撃たれとらんわ5歳の頃はまだバリバリ日本在住よっていうかなんでアーカンソーなのよ<笑>のどかな風景を思い浮かべた時最初に浮かんだ州の名はアーカンソーであり次に浮かんだのがオレゴンだったセクンドオレゴンそこはユタじゃない相対的に見てユタの方がっぽくないでは答えよクリスティーナなぜあの時嘘だと言った別に確信があって言ったわけじゃない単に信じたくなかっただけってロジックよとんでも科学は小説や映画の中だけで十分だわ<笑>とんでも科学だと何をバカなお前もはっきり見たはずだメールが過去へと飛んだあの現象をバナナが瞬間移動したその瞬間を That's true. 見たけど何かの間違いのはずあるいは私たちが都合のいい解釈をしてるだけ No, I don't think there's a way of just seeing a banana disappear and reappear as a gel nana ATF で言わなかったタイムマシンは今の技術では夢物語よましてやあんたたちみたいなお遊びサークルが電話と電子レンジをくっつけただけのガラクタでタイムトラベルを起こせるわけがない We, we, did, we did do time travel We sent an email to the past だが実際に起きたお前は自分自身の目で見たことを否定するのか現実よりも理論こそが正しいというのかならば一生奇弁を漏して言葉遊びをしているがいい、oh. 両子論など俺からしてみれ言葉遊びにしか見えないということだちょっとあんたね現代物理学を否定する気何様現象に対して素直になれ起きたことが全てであり起きていないこと観測できていないことは全て仮説でしかないうん。仮説を積み上げて理論が証明されたときそれは本物になるそうやって現代物理学は宇宙すべての真実を理解するのファインだが仮説が間違っている場合もあるかのアインシュタインでさえ間違えたことがあるのだうん間違いかもしれないからやらないのだったらあんたは一生あの小汚いビルに引きこもって王様を気取っていなさいそんなことじゃ真実には絶対たどり着けない失敗は成功のもとよなるほどいい反論だなあくまで上から目線なのなところでクリスティーナよ俺は常々感じていた物理学者には矛盾がある矛盾現実に起きていて誰もが知っているが未だ解明されておらず物理学者も手をつけようとしない現象というものは確かに存在するそれについてはどう思うどう思う例を挙げてもらわないとわからない例えばユガウシツオカルトかいオカルトだからといって思考停止かそれはお前がたった今言ったことと矛盾するぞそんなことじゃ真実には絶対たどり着けない。Oh my god. They're just going back and forth at this point. My god. 幽霊を見る人間は確かに存在する。<coughs> 映像としても証拠が存在している。Yeah, but is that photographic evidence actually ghosts or is it just, you know, some sort of. I w a s it said, like, problem with the lens? なぜ他の仮説をこねくり回し続けていられるのだ先行が違うわ解明されていない現象に先行もクソもあるまいそうだけどというわけで過去へメールを送る現象もきちんと検証すべきだ女子も力を貸すがいい嫌よ
Wow, why not? Kurisu gives me a clear cut answer, along with her usual glare. So the genius girl really does hate me. Your father? Uh, okay. Yeah. Kurusu grimaces. Wales's魔法師に魅了されて本気で研究していたわ。でもそれにこだわりすぎたせいで学会からは追放に近い扱いを受けた。this time, her sheer force of will gives me pause. Um, I think she's really pissed. I may have stepped on a landmine here. What do I do? If I get her any angrier, she might seriously hit me. Let's calm her down a little. Yeah, let's do that. But what should I say? This is where it's gonna bite me in the ass. Oh. She apologized first, or apologizes first. Christina's calm character saves me. <laughs> oh my god, that's not what you say. Just hit him. Oh god, my eye. Ugh. She seems to hate time machines, though. あ、これだけは伝えておく。クリスティーナ。クリスティーナ。クリスティーナって言うの。ラボメンナンバー00404は永久欠番としておく。この番号はずっとお前のものだ。あ。That was nice. I finished my speech and turned my back to Kurisu. I won't look back. I walk away slowly with my eyes closed. It's kind of hard to walk like this. I hope I don't bump into anyone. Wait, am I even walking straight? <laughs> my shoulder is suddenly pulled from behind. I brace myself so I don't fall backwards. Okay. Lay it on me. Damn it, her stubbornness has already returned. Okay. Ah, yes, the other real life phenomenon that has yet to be explained. Let's just leave it at, like uh, leave it at that for now. I mean, if we can't explain it. Yeah, they're di they're totally different. <笑>ジンコ衛星が落ちたから。ジンコ衛星が落ちたから。ジンコ衛星が落ちたから。ジンコ衛星が落ちたから。ジンコ衛星が落ちたから。ジンコ衛星が落ちたから。ジンコ
だとしたら電話レンジカッコ仮の謎も解決だ幻ならば物理法則を無視したことも起こりうる現実逃避意外とチキンね<笑>仮説を提示したのだよ物理学者お得意のな Yeah, just a hypothesis それで私は誰に刺されたのもしかしてあんた No I recall the sight of Kurisu collapsed in a puddle of blood. It sends shivers down my spine. Was that really just a hallucination? It was too real. I can clearly remember the smell of blood. その時点では俺とお前は一度だけ話したことがある程度のただの通りすがりの他人だったおお、well that one time when that one time we talked was during the events I imagined so strictly speaking at that point in time all I knew about her was what I'd read in the magazine とにかく接点などほとんどなかった故に俺はお前の死体を見た後119番に通報することなくその場を後にしたのだ悪情者何を望んでいる過去に戻ってお前の死体を丁重に扱えとそのためには電話レンジカッコ彼を使えるようにしなければな<笑>今後そんな幻見ないで他人の夢の中とはいえ自分が殺されてると思ったらいい気分はしない保証はできないなそれを実行するためにも24時間完璧に俺の脳内を監視しなければならない本当にあんたってああ言えばこう言うわね It seems that way Oh my Kurosu shakes her head in exasperation then turns and walks off toward the station Looks like she wants to end the conversation In revenge for last time, I, gra I grabbed Carissa's slender shoulder from behind. <laughs> oh, I thought that was literally just payback for what she did. <clears throat> so it was literally just for revenge. <laughs> oh my god, he's trying to be all cool again. I turn my back to Kurusu this time, I'll make a perfect. <laughs> She grabs my arm. Damn it, this is the second time. IBN 5100. 5100. Looks like she's interested. She was the same way when she came to the lab. I guess this girl is just brimming, brimming with curiosity. Uh, no. Kurisu quickly averts her eyes. But she doesn't let go of my arm. Aha! <laughs> Yes, the CERN. Is there another one? Come, be astonished. Oh. But it's true! Kurisu gives me a cold glare, then lets go and starts walking away. This time she's gone for good. Damn you. Just you watch. 
I will expose certain secrets if it's the last thing I do. Okay. Oh man, she was interested, briefly. Where are we? Oh, it's Sunday now. Oh, it's the 1st of August. The next day I decided to hit Akiba's computer parts store. I did as much as I could yesterday after parting with Kurusu, but no luck. Finding an IBM 5100 is obviously going to be a huge pain in the ass. Mm. <laughs> I'm standing in the narrow tunnel that runs beside the Radiken building. Small shop selling everything from motherboards to resistors to vacuum tubes. Or tube. Oh, to vacuum tubes that line both sides of the tunnel. I thought it was a vacuum tube line, which is why I was confused. So here lie the vestiges of the old electric town, Akiba's conscience, so to speak. Casual otaku usually avoid stalls like these. It's like a holy land that only true fanatics can enter. Not that I'm an expert on computer parts. Furthermore, these shops only sell parts, so it's actually kind of silly to be searching for a whole PC here. Still, something about the sight of all these electronics gets my blood pumping. I have to hide my exci excitement to maintain my dignity. If a storekeeper yells, Hey kid, you're ten years too young for this stuff, then I'll have no choice but to run. Fortunately, no one has yelled at me yet. In fact, the storekeepers seem to be ignoring me. They must be more open-minded than I thought. Or maybe they just don't care. I searched each store in turn, but turn up neither hide nor hair of an IBM 5100. Oh, we have a call. The ringing of my phone draws a sharp look from the nearest storekeeper. Oh, it's a video call. What the heck? <laughs> what? Give me a sit rep. 